I think one of the common threads between, say, the Uber program, the MOD program, even the OU program, are they are a long-term corporate commitment. This is about not only just providing the option to do this, but being very proactive in making that readily available and encouraging people into to participate in those programs. In terms of creativity, you look at the Royal Navy program, it's very inclusive, the whole uh, magic of the campaign uh, born in Carlisle but made in the, the Royal Navy. I think if you look at the Uber program, you have the options to for drivers or couriers not just to study themselves but equally to enable a family member. So they start becoming aspirational not just to those employers or workers but also that they are life-changing to families as well. I think ambition is about really taking the scale, is taking a big view, is not just sort of saying well yes it sounds like a great idea what could we do is actually just going right well put the stick in the bicycle wheel and let's see what we can do let's change our thinking a little bit what does it cost you to attract staff what does it cost you to retain those staff and are you just continually caught in the standard process of a wage spiral or, or spending more on recruitment and think a little bit differently. You know, this isn't, doesn't have to be a full-blown, hugely expensive program. You can start very simply, you can start looking at options like salary sacrifice, uh, where the employer and the employee both benefit, um, but there isn't actually a budgeted cost for that. Or you can start thinking about what could we do with open educational resources, such as OpenLearn, but there are others. Um, or you can actually start saying, right, okay, we already have a corporate L&D budget, why don't we start refocusing in that in slightly different ways.